Good evening and welcome back to my channel. This one may end up being a little bit long because I think I've got a lot to babble about. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is the instructions. Um, I love this kit, don't get me wrong. The instructions though leave a great deal of things to be desired. Um, and it really came to the fore as I start looking at about you know, step 16-ish, right? So we get step 16, 20. And we start putting the rest of the hull together. At about this point, when you flip this page, things are going to start to go all the heck. So it has you, you know, dropping in the cannons, and then it has you putting on these sidebars, but also has you putting these um, these channels for the the cannon doors. And we start to think about the things that are going to be, you know, fragile and that will break off. Um, those are going to be things that I'm probably going to put on last, specifically because of that issue. Um, there are plenty of things I had to put on that are fragile as it is, and, and the fewer fragile things, the better. However, um, we will go ahead and, and just... Um, my suggestion is, as we get to about here, start actively looking at the instructions. So you're pretty much putting everything on the deck, but then there are pieces that are missing. So here, here, along and through here. What's missing are the tie down. What's missing are these pieces here. So I'm going to point out that you know, they have you start working on the masts here and putting the shrouds and rat lines on. And then after all those are in, you start getting the rigging. Then they start telling you putting these on. So these are mounted to the side rails of the hull. And then they have you starting running, running the rigging from the top down. And then you know, they have you working a lot in the front again going top down and you see how they're pulling you back here this has nothing to attach to so th this is a little bit of a problem and then you'll see here these are the ones for the mid deck and then here are the ones up on the poop deck so you know you're you're like way late in the they kind of have you putting those in when you're when you're actually running the rigging and i and now they do show you how to tie and i think that the theory here is you do all this tying and then you glue them on yeah, that's kind of challenging if that's what you want to do great go for it i'm just calling this out i'm obviously i'm not doing that i've gotten to this step here actually i've gotten to this step and what I'm doing is I've gone ahead and I'm finding all of the things on the deck that I need to put in which includes those tie downs there's a um, there's there's one that's like right in the middle part of the the hull is it back here it's before this one yeah it's this guy these two guys right here and they're like here and here so I've got those put on. All of those are going on the deck so I can get this painted and weathered. So again, I am working bottom up. The other thing I'm doing is I'm completely ignoring how they're doing the the, <clears throat> the rigging. And I'm going to follow the rigging from bottom up, stern forward. And if you look at a lot of these, you see how there's a lot of tie from the front toward the back. That's why I'm doing it that way. There is a rigging guide for this kit. I strongly recommend getting it so that you can see <clears throat> where all the rigging goes. So, um, yeah, those are the challenges that I have with, with the way the instructions are laid out. And I strongly recommend that anybody who's going to do some work on this give serious thought to how they're going to actually do the work. Okay? So, and you can see for me, I have, like, I've circled the things that I've done. Um, and I'll come back to the capstan here in a minute. But I've circled all the things I've already done. So as I do work my way forward, I'll, I'll have everything marked. 
okay? So, <clears throat> with, with that wine out of the way, or at least that heads up out of the way, where am I actually when it comes to being done? I am here. And I'm going to angle this back. And there we go. So I've gotten, actually, is there a way? You know what? I'm going to break this, and I'm going to pull this camera back a little bit. So okay, hold so on that's one a second. little bit of a better view. So what I have done is I've gotten quite a bit of work done on the deck, and all the lighting's done and all of that. So while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and light up the lights. Now again, to remind you, I've got lights in the main cabin. I have lights in, the, or I'm sorry, in the captain's cabin, on the gun deck, and in the, on the lanterns. So let's bring this forward. And that's just reflection. So as we can see, that's the cabin. And you see the flickering effect. That's what we have all the way around. I also have it on the other side, and you can see through there, at least I think I can see it. I think you can see it. You can see the lantern there, and in the gun ports, <clears throat> excuse me, in the gun ports, you can kind of see uh, a little bit of light showing through. So that is what, where I am, or at least, or that's the lighting, at least that's done. Um, these ports, I'm actually going to close these gun ports, the gun ports on the captain's cabin, um, in, in the Black Pearl, in the movie, um, they had, there were cannon in there, um, but I remember not seeing cannon actually sticking out, um, from that gun port. And even if there was, I'm going to be content with the gun port being closed. So that is, that is my lighting and you can kind of see a little bit down through the stairs, which is kind of what I wanted, right? I wanted that that look to be available. So, yay, the lights are done. And I'm, I'm actually very happy with them. I'm content with what I got, and I know it's a little thing, but it makes me happy. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Let's talk about the other things we've gotten done here. So <clears throat> the choices I have made for the crew... You can see I have the captain on deck already, and I have one sailor down here. And these are, I got these from Shapeways. They were fairly inexpensive. And it was like, you know, uh, 15 or so zombies, zombie sailors. And they're shapeways they're prints they're they're printed in like this clear or this tr translucent resin but it's actually a very high quality resin so between these and these guys i have enough to to man my ship which is something i need right it, it's again it's one of those things that there are things that are going to mess with my brain that is something that's going to mess with my brain so i'm content with the crew and now there will be a bunch of painting to get those guys taken care of. I finally finished the stairs. So the, the stairwell to um, the poop deck and all of that is now nice. It's got me content. I've got the deck scattered down there. I also have done the railing and the stairs for... These stairs here, um, again, I'm going to call this out. Some people may not care, but I do. The stairs that you have that for that come with the kit have a huge gap. Essentially, I put twice as many steps in these the staircase to look on scale, right? And I'm looking at this. I'm even actually put one more in because um, you know if you look at at these and you look at the scale of those steps. I did the same with these. I also did the same with the stairs going down. Added those extra steps. They look more to scale with with the with the scale of the the the, the figures. Um, 
doing the curved stairs was challenging, but you know, in the end, I'm, I'm content with it. It, it does make a difference. You know, it, it makes a difference to me. Um, for those who are content with what they come with, you know, hey, roll with it. Um, <clears throat> the railing was something that, you know, on, on the Black Pearl, there's a, a much more uh, sturdy and, and robust rail toward the front, you know, just next to the forecastle. So I did that. And also, again, I may have pointed this out, but I can't remember. This comes up to the, um, to the port while the stairs in the front go up to starboard. Uh, and that's consistent. So I went ahead and I switched these back around and just flipped around the railing. The other thing I did do is I added these. So these posts and railing rope um, are scratch built. And that's exactly what I'm worried about is that's a little flimsy. So I'm gonna have to go back and stiffen that up. But I put those in. <clears throat> Uh, because again, they're on there. Oops, sorry. They are on there and I would, it, it would look off to me. They also are needed on the forecastle, you know, basically all the way around here and across here. Um, I'm not doing those yet, but I will probably once I get the main stuff here done. I just need to figure out, I may put those on last because I'm going to need to get to these, these tie downs. Here, the tie downs are here. And here, I don't need to, you know, they're not going to be in the way of me getting to those or these. But this and these it might. So it's probably better and I'll probably do those afterwards. After I've got the rigging up. Because it'll be fairly, I'll put these on, but then these will go on last. Um, other thing I did adjust is the capstan. Um, so the capstan comes with this cool little, well... You know, the way it's set up, it's designed right here, and then you put your six little bars in. <clears throat> and again, this is one of those things. The capstan actually has eight, not six. So the real pearl, real, you know, the movie pearl, has eight posts in a capstan rather than six. So what I did is I put that together, and then I just green stuffed all the way around it, and then drilled eight holes rather than six. The interesting thing, the cool thing is the pieces that have the posts is one of, it's one of, it's on this set and there's two per set. And because you get four of these, you actually get eight posts. So the cool thing is you don't have to make an extra two posts. They come with it. So that's done. Um, speaking of things it doesn't come with, I couldn't believe it doesn't come with a ship's bell. So... Um, you know, they have the belfry, but they didn't have a bell. And, and I looked and I looked and I looked. And if, I, if I'm just overlooking it and y'all see it in the instructions and you see it somewhere, you know, tell me, but I don't see one. Um, being that the bell is actually somewhat important on the ship. And especially where that is, that's, you know, kind of blatant. I ended up going ahead, carving one and sculpting it out of green stuff. So I carved it out of green stuff, then mounted it to a styrene scratch built hanger and then mounted that into the belfry so we got that one taken care of um last thing is deck scatter so i've started putting the deck scatter around you know around the the stairs i did deck scatter back here interesting thing well interesting to me anyway um the stuff back here a lot of the the stowage on deck would have been tied down you know they wouldn't have just let it stacked around now I will say that in the movie, a lot of the stuff is free. You know, they don't have it tied down. It wasn't something they paid attention to when they were making the movie. But back here in the back, it would just stick. It would stick in my head. So I ended up making these tie down um, hooks and mounting them across, and then thro and then threading rope so that they are tied down. Um, last thing is I'm obviously I'm now working on the cannon. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on these guys a little bit. Um, so the cool thing about these is it comes with all kinds of tackle for your, your cannon, right? So you have, they have the tackle here on this 
the same sprue that your cannons are on. The, the thing is, on the Pearl, they didn't. On the Pearl, they didn't use that tackle. They literally had big white heavy ropes looped around the knob at the end of the cannon and then looped through retain, retaining brackets on that were mounted into the hull. So this model expects you to use those pieces. Those pieces have the bracket as part of the piece so that you just glue it to the hull. So there isn't a bracket to run the rope like I've done there. So what I ended up having to do is make them. And essentially all I did was I took wire and let's see if we get this to focus. Come on. There we go. So what I did is I took wire and just looped it, right? Um, and then snipped it because that's you know the, the that's how I how you make links. And so for each one of those, and you can see one also up here right here. That's one of those tie downs that I was talking about in the back. Um, so that uh, what I ended up doing then is I would just take a little dab of green stuff, mount it to the hull, and then insert the ring to that. And then I let that cure. So I let the green stuff cure. It took a couple of days hit it with a little bit of paint to blend it into the hull, and there we go. So it, you know, that's ended up how, I, that is how I ended up doing that. So now if we rotate this back around. Come on, there we go. So that's how I ended up rolling those in. So I sort of took some some rigging wire that I had from another ship and it's about the same it's roughly the same diameter 0.3 for what I was looking for and for what um, you know it, it it's to scale or it has the right scale look to it anyway I'm focusing on there we go focus on this thing is being a pain today apparently so with that I got the look I wanted now the other only other thing I will say is those ropes are heavy, so I ended up gluing them to the floor, or to the to the deck, in a shape that gives the look of heavy rope just laying on the deck. Um, again, I'm following the the pattern of, of how they looked on on the movie, and I'm just going to run with it. Um, I did make a couple of boxes that have. Uh, Cannonballs, and I've got about five or six of these that I'll scatter along here, and then also put some on the starboard side. Um, and that is about where I am right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom back out. Hopefully, this will stay in a little bit better focus now. Um, again, it's you know I kind of waffled on quite a bit here. Uh, I did want to call out the instructions so that you can pay attention because as you can see getting some of this stuff put in once you've got all that rigging in here it's going to really get in your hands so the way i'm planning to do this right is i'm going to pretty much do everything from here down and then i'm going to weather this i want this mostly weathered with the exception of the the gun the gun port covers and those um but all of the the main weathering and so forth that that need to be done i plan to try and get done and then you know kind of go one step at a time after that and this is where i am right now uh yeah i think that's it so i will close down for now because i have waffled on quite a bit and uh until next time happy modeling